Hurricane Headquarters, sponsored by Entergy. Tropical storm Francine has formed this morning. Uh, Hurricane Hunter planes flew down into this system and found a closed low, low level circulation. And we now have a tropical storm. It continues to move slowly off towards the north. Here's the latest on Francine. Winds are at 50 miles per hour, moving to the north northwest at five. And it's 245 miles south of the Rio Grande, the mouth of uh, the Rio Grande down towards uh, Brownsville, Padre Island, uh, south of there. Now the track from the Hurricane Center is going to be taking it up towards the north and eventually making a northeasterly turn by tomorrow night at seven o'clock. They're expecting to grow into a hurricane with winds at about 75 miles an hour. Then it's going to work its way towards the north and east and that northeasterly track will take it up into parts of it looks like maybe Vermilion Parish near Vermilion Bay as we head towards Wednesday night around seven o'clock with winds at about 85 miles an hour. So still a category one hurricane. There's a possibility it could even strengthen maybe to category two before it makes landfall. We are just out of the cone of uncertainty, so we're still going to get some rain. We're going to get some wind from this, but nothing like they're going to be seeing over towards, say, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, where they could see wind gusts uh, up over 80, 85 miles an hour. We might see wind gusts 15 to 35 miles per hour here. We might pick up one to three inches of rain where they could pick up uh, maybe six, seven inches of rain or so uh, over towards parts of southern Louisiana. So we're on the west side. That's good. This track could shift a little bit farther towards the west. We'll be watching for that over the next couple of days. But right now it looks like it's going to be tracking too far to the east to really give us uh, any heavy impacts. And, and this thing's not going to stall out. It's going to continue to move up into the Midwest as we head towards uh, looks like uh, Thursday, Friday into the weekend. So we're expecting heavy rain, possibly especially along the coast. So winds gusting about 15 to 35, maybe one to three inches of rain. And if you're going to be traveling, especially to the east on Wednesday, you might want to change those plans because anything to the east, you'll be running right into that storm. Temperatures out there feeling pretty nice out there for the, the midday hour. Let's switch over to Jeremiah. He's going to give us a forecast for today in the next seven days. Hey, good morning, Jeff. A beautiful forecast for today across really most, most of Southeast Texas and parts of Southwest Louisiana. Going to see plenty of sunshine, and right now temperatures not bad at all. Normally for this time of the year, we're well into the 90s, but we're into the 70s across the board. So right now looking outside, courtesy of our Roofing 911 La Sky Care Network, you can see be beautiful blue skies out towards Jasper this morning. Uh, not really any cloud cover out that way. Of course, it's brought to you by Provalis. So a beautiful day out there, out there for this Monday, but of course we still have that system that we're tracking in the Gulf. Could start to give us some of those uh, feeder bands as we go into tomorrow and into Wednesday. So you can see that looking at Futurecast today, gonna be gorgeous, plenty of sunshine, at least before we get into this evening. Gonna start to see some clouds start to build in from uh, the outer bands of Francine as we go into this evening. And those are gonna start to push further northward as we go into tonight as well. So looking like cloud cover expected for tonight with temperatures dropping back into the upper 60s and lower 70s. And then there goes some of that shower and storm activity I mentioned a second ago with Francine, trying to start to kick some of those showers and storms off into Southeast Texas. So we have a good 40% coverage for some showers and storms on Tuesday and a better coverage for Wednesday. So out in the Gulf of Mexico, temperature at around 79 degrees. Small craft advisory for those seas around three to five feet. And your next high tide coming up at about 1028 this evening. So today's forecast looks like this. No rain expected, increasing cloudiness, temperatures back into the middle to upper 80s. Tonight will cool off, but not as nice as what it has been the past few nights. We've been in the, into the 60s. Tonight we're going to be back into those lower 70s uh, with winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And here's that full weather impact seven day forecast. Beautiful weather expected for today, but then as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when we'll start to see those outer bands move in from Tropical Storm Francine, possibly Hurricane Francine at that point. But once we get past that, it looks like beautiful weather expected for the weekend. Temperatures back into the upper 80s and uh, uh, lows back into the lower 70s. And of course, here's that weather impact alert issue for Wednesday due to heavy rainfall and some winds in the forecast. So just be sure to be aware of that as we go into Wednesday. But like I said before, beautiful weather expected for the second half of the weekend and into the weekend. Now, Jeff, um, if I'm not mistaken, and Jeremiah, since this morning when we were on air, the storm kind of moved even more east, right? So mm -hmm. that yes. Wednesday could change for the better. Yeah, yeah. If, that, if that continues, uh, that storm could be even farther east, maybe even closer to maybe uh, New Orleans mm -hmm. as we head towards Wednesday, which would be great for us. Unfortunately, not good news for right. our neighbors over in Louisiana. Right. So uh, we'll continue to track it. It could also shift a little bit back towards the west. We'll have to wait and see. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, guys.